well. Let's pop you up a bit. Good morning, everybody. So I actually decided to do like living in the day in my monthly favourites because I watched Anna edit. Oh, my Tesco shop. <laughs> Be right back. Does anyone else get so excited for their weekly food shop? Like I feel like even though I can't go and I'm not going to the supermarkets at the moment, I'm still like excited to see of what I've got, even though I'm the one that ordered it. I don't know, it's like when you get an online shopping order. Apart from this food, you're not close. <laughs> I'm not gonna do my full makeup routine um, because there's only like a couple of favorites that I picked out this month. So I will show you the favorites that I'm using at the moment and then I'll just do the rest off camera. I'm just gonna wet my sponge and actually this could be, even though it looks minging right now, this could be my first monthly favorite. And this is actually a sponge from Doll 10. Um, if you don't know who Doll 10 are, they're an American based brand. They're quite new to the makeup world. However, their products and all of their kind of tools are beautiful. And I mean like beautifully packaged and beautiful like textures and formulas and stuff. And they hooked me onto this sponge. If you know me, you know that I'm a like, What's the word? I am a massive fan of real techniques. Like, they are the OG of sponges. Nothing is ever compared. I prefer real techniques over Beauty Blender, although that comes on to my second favorite. Um, and yeah, this has just like done it for me. And I actually think this is really hard to get your hands on. So now I've probably told you a favorite that you cannot get. But I'll see if I can find the link. If not, I'll email Lee at Doll10 and I'll ask her where you guys can get it from. Then that brings me on to the second one because this is what I'm going to wash it with. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite Beauty Blender cleaner. And this is like the Beauty Blender actual cleaner. The only thing I don't like is the tub that it comes in. It is so hard to squeeze it all out. Like it's, it's too long. This is a new one by the way. I used to get the small ones and I'm running out of the one in the bathroom. This is why hence I bought this from Cold Beauty. Um, but I'm going to get a little soap dispenser. Is the right word dispenser? I always get it mixed up with dispenser and I don't know why but I don't think that's a word but dispenser. Anyway, you know like one of the soap things. I'm actually going to get a pump bottle and fill the pump bottle up with this. This is the before of my sponge as you can see. Come on, you're going to focus. Oh my eye, why do I always have to be out of shot? So this is the before and now go wash it and I'll show you the after. And then this is the after. And I wasn't lying, look, I'm literally, <laughs> literally running out. This has actually been a favorite of mine for a couple of months. As you can see, I am like all the way down to the bottom. And this is the Essie Light Moisturizer. Now I have quite oily skin and I am gonna be going to like the normal moisturizer. So like the one up from this, they have like different numbers. This is M5. And I just absolutely love this brand. It's like made in South Africa and it's all natural products. Like when you read off the ingredients it's such nice products there is a lot of oil in this moisturizer i'd have to say i think it's like jojoba oil and like nice beautiful oils like that but it is it has got oil in although this is the light version and it is quite matte so when you put it on your face does feel matte so if you want like you know where sometimes you put moisture your moisturizer on and you get like that tacky feeling this isn't like that this dries completely um well matte However, they do do a massive, they do do, they do do a huge range. So they have like ultra moisturizers that just have even more nutritional ingredients. Like I said, it's all natural ingredients and I find my skin does so much better when it's all natural. So now that I've done my eyes, I think this brand, where is it? <laughs> Where's it gone? I feel like I can't talk about it until it's in my hand again. I feel like this brand in general, is slightly underrated i know they had that like one foundation that everyone used including me but i feel like when you when you say this brand i feel like people just instantly think mature women like this brand is for mature women when actually it just does some amazing beautiful products like all around i'm talking about estee lauder in general i don't know why and i think it's maybe just their marketing but whenever i think of estee lauder i think oh you use those products when you hit like 50 plus when actually their products are so beautiful Obviously their double wear is just such a hit and I still love it to this day. But I have been loving their double wear light. So it's got um, a decent amount of coverage. It's stronger than like a tinted moisturizer, but it's just so beautiful. Like I honestly can't even explain it to you guys. Like I'll shut up and put it on and you can see it really work its magic. Um, this is definitely my everyday foundation. If you wanna be that person 
that everyone asks what foundation they're wearing, you need this in your life. Because, honestly, the compliments have been incredible. And obviously if you want a little bit more coverage, you can go in with either a second layer or I would just probably spot conceal and then I use concealer as normal. It looks beautiful, it looks natural, it looks like my skin. I just look healthy wearing this foundation. So then the second thing that I want to mention is the Danessa Myricks Contour Balm. But this is actually beautiful. It's really easy to blend. So if you find contour really hard to blend in and like move your foundation, because this is a balm, it doesn't do that. It glides on so nicely and the colour payoff for a balm is incredible. And the shade range is insane. They cater to every single skin tone. The next product I want to tell you about is this e.l.f. Putty Blush. They are so cheap. Um, I can't remember the shade that I use, but I'll link it down below because these aren't like labelled. Um, I got these in PR, so I just kind of apply it in like a triangle. So I go like down at the apple, up by the eye and then down towards the back. And it just kind of like lifts the face up a little bit and it has like a very satin feel to it. And then also the pigment isn't too strong. It's that natural kind of flushed kind of like texture to the skin. My hair is just roughly blow dried right now. And normally when I blow dry my hair, it's like Hagrid's hair and it's so frizzy. But I've been using this spray and I bought it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I bought it about, a week and a half ago and I've used it twice but it's made that much of an impact it is definitely gonna be in my favorites because it's left my hair so silky and soft like I don't think my hair has ever been this soft touch and it's all because of this sheer sheer moisture um, is the leave-in treatment coconut milk and acacia oh why am I so bad at pronouncing things Senegal Acacia, acacia? Acacia Senegal. Acacia. So Acacia Senegal. It's a detangle, protect and control frizz for all hair types and it did exactly that. It controlled my frizz. This is literally just roughly blow dry. I'm just so impressed with this and I feel like this is going to become an actual favourite. I do have to say I do put a lot of sprays in my hair. Like I probably do like 10 maybe eight sprays, um, but it's sulfate free and color safe. So that is just, but yeah, it smells incredible. Like it smells like holiday in a bottle. And if you know me, anything smells like holiday, I have to have it. Which brings me on to my next favorite, which I've been loving so much, honestly. If you are a fan of La Vie Belle from Longcombe, you will love this. I think this is limited edition. I'm not sure, don't quote me. So if you do want to get your hands on it, um, I'll leave you the link because I'm not sure if it's something that's going to stay or if it's something that's here to come and go. But this is like La Vie Espel on actual like roids. <laughs> I would say it's sweeter than La Vie Espel and it's got a more prominent, yeah, like vanilla, I think it's vanilla, a vanilla tone to it. If you love sweet perfumes, you will love this. Like, oh, that went up my nostril. <laughs> Bad move. Me smelling this all day. Oh, it's burning. <laughs> Why am I made like this? I'm actually a really clever person, but I do do some funny dumb shit. Put some cotton buds up my nose with some water and get that out. Oh, it smells so good though. It's worth it. I think I just singed my nose hairs. <clears throat> now I have diluted La Vie Espel up my nose. Hey, okay, so I just wanted to show you my favorite place to shop at the moment. Now I know Zara has some up and downs online, like they don't always get it right, but their clothes at the moment, they get it right. Like honestly, I've bought so much stuff from Zara at the moment, like it's a problem. But this beautiful skirt, actually, let me go back a little bit. Let me zoom you in, because otherwise you'll see something that I have to keep secret. But it's a beautiful kind of long skirt with a matching crop top. Oh, it just is very feminine, very cute, super summery. Cannot wait to wear this to hopefully a big, beer garden. Doesn't this just give you summer vibes? <laughs> Honestly, it makes me so excited. And then I also got this oversized blazer dress that basically ties at the back so you can kind of cinch in your waist. And I just absolutely love it. It's very Hayley Bieber vibes. 
Um, I probably wouldn't pair it with these shoes, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Probably pair it with something strappier. You could definitely um, roll up the sleeves if you want to. There's buttons as well hidden, but I like that oversized sleeve. Um, just looks like you're wearing your dad's blazer, but just <laughs> tailored. So yeah, I actually really, really love this. I love the colors, like khaki, but it's also lined. If you can see the material here, but. I have been on the hunt for a really like thick unitard and I came across this one from Zara and it's actually beautiful. It's ribbed and it's a low cut back one. I wouldn't wear it with heels, I just had heels on, but I'd probably wear it with like trainers and like a shirt. Um, but yeah, it's so, I've got like pink pants on and you can't see them at all. You can see a little bit of the outline because they're my period pants, but um, yeah, I love, love, love this. It fits like a glove. It's super thick. You can't see through it, which is so nice. Tiny little bit of side boob, but nothing too daring. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I think this is gonna be kind of like a go-to favorite. But this is kind of the vibe I was thinking. Just a nice, cute shirt, open, not really, just, you know, hanging off, chilling. But yeah, this is the vibe. I wanted to go for. You guys are going to absolutely laugh at me, but my favourite meal at the moment is clearly pizza. But I have to say, I think co-op food is so underrated. So this is like, I call it the single person's pizza. I call it like the pizza for one, even though it is quite large. Um, but this is the margarita and I've put the... I've, I've got some like artichokes from Tesco and some olives from Tesco and I like put it on because I kind of make my own pizza but these pizzas are actually incredible please let me know in the comment section below if you've had a co-op pizza I'll put the exact one that I normally get it is like a little bit spenny but I think the food at co-op is so good um I've obviously been just kind of demolishing Deliveroo and every time I need something I'm on Deliveroo getting it from co-op and the fruit and the pizza and everything that I've tried so far has been a 10 10 so yeah this is my favorite favorite dinner at the moment I allow myself to have one pizza a week and I normally have it on the day that I do my food shop so it's normally a Tuesday but yeah I just have been devouring this every week and I haven't got bored or sick of it yet it's so yum hi guys so I'm in my dressing gown because I am cold and I've just filmed a look for Instagram which is why I'm a little bit more glammed up um but I absolutely love this part of the video where they talk about books if you don't know I'm a little bit of a bookworm and I prefer normally uh fiction books however I have been loving like self-development books and non-fiction books um so I thought a great book to start with is probably like one of the nicest and easiest self-development books to start with um, and I think it's a great time especially this year with everything that's happened the previous year to kind of help yourself get out of like a negative or more negative mindset. I know I was drifting down that way especially with like my anxiety around the pandemic and thinking about how is the world going to be normal soon and just trying to control the things that I could control and one being your mind and the way that you think um, that also comes within like the whole self-love bubble not just about my face masks and massages um so i thought i would talk about the good vibes good life by vex king and i actually love doing this with books tell me if you guys are the same or if i'm just like the weirdo that does this but i get the book on audible and you can get a couple of credits free so i get um the book free on audible as well as sitting down and actually like reading the book as i go i just love it it's like someone's telling me a story and because i'm listening to the voice and reading the words I kind of like memorize it better and especially for self-development like I want to remember all the different things as well I like taking notes something that I need to remember this book is actually really well kind of thought out you have like all your different chapters um in like a different color so when you're looking at the book from like the top of the bottom you can see the darkness and where each chapter begins and I just think that that was so easy to follow along with. Also Koshal is the one who's doing the audible so that was really cool because obviously I know Koshal so it was like she was there with me reading the book. Vex also goes into his life and how he changed his mindset and what worked for him and the you can like get given examples of how it works and it really does work. It just talks about 
uh, an array of things, whether it's manifesting your lifestyle changes, your work goals, your um, like habits, just anything to kind of move you into a more positive mindset. This has honestly been such a great read and I recommend it to everybody who is in that kind of position um, in life where they just need like almost that extra helping hand. Um, I actually think self-development books are sometimes, can be sometimes, obviously it depends on the individual, just as good as going to a therapist section, se section? a therapist session, just because I feel like with self-development books, you're actually given a lot of tools in the book to kind of use in your day-to-day -day life. Whereas I do think sometimes, with me anyway, this is from my own experience, when I went to like therapy and I went to see a counsellor and stuff, I would end up just like talking about it rather than being given the tools to change the way my mind works. Whereas I find books like this help me tenfold do that. Also therapy is great. I still recommend it to everybody. I'm getting, I actually need to check when my next session is, but anyway, different story. But yeah, so this book is a 10, 10 for me and I really, really enjoyed reading it. It says, the perfect guide for those who are seeking a way out of darkness and want to live a more beautiful and meaningful life. And I think that is exactly how I would describe it. They just did a better job. <laughs> and then I'm also reading another book at the moment, but I'm only halfway through and I really enjoy it at the moment, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it in this favorites because I need to finish it first and I need to digest everything and see if it was like worth the read but so far I think it is worth the read so you'll be seeing that hopefully in my next monthly favorites if you guys enjoyed this one then I'll do another one but yeah oh we are zoomed in zoom out. <laughs> okay so it is now coming into early evening so I think I'm gonna stop this vlog here however I did really want to do some more more things in this vlog but you know practice makes perfect and this is the first favorite video so if you guys do enjoy this video then i'll make sure to do an april one because this will be march even though we're in april anyway <laughs> sometimes i literally just talk my conscious thoughts anyway i'm gonna leave this here and i hope you guys did enjoy i hope you're enjoying your week so far i hope you're staying safe and i will see you very soon bye why oh, is taking thumbnails so good? <laughs>